let's solve questions related to audio video systems and electronic measuring instruments from ap eset 2021 question paper so let's get back to the first question so in tv transmission which modulation techniques are used for transmission of picture and sound signals remember during tv transmission frequency modulation is used for audio transmission and amplitude modulation is used for picture transmission this is a standard question which is being repeated many number of times so try to remember this now next to let's next let's go back to the next question the signal sent by the tv transmitter to ensure correct scanning in the receiver is called remember this is called sync luminance refers to the com component of television which carries the information of brightness in the image so sync is the signal sent by tv transmitter to ensure correct scanning in the receiver next now i was just telling about luminance this refers to the component of television which carries information on the brightness of the image so next question the shadow mask in a color picture tube is used to remember shadow mask directs the electron beam by absorbing electrons that are going in wrong direction so that the beam only hits the desired points and the resulting picture is not blurred generally crt cathode ray tubes will be having three electron guns which are red green and blue which are present for color display so if you see the options they ensure that each beam hits only its own dots now what is the working principle of image orthicon now this has been a standard question so the operation of the camera tube is based on the photoconductive properties of certain materials and on electron beam scanning this is also used in video con so if you see here it works on the principle of photo emission next what is the instrument required to measure voltage very simple we know the voltmeter this is an instrument which is used to measure the voltages of either direct or alternating currents on a scale usually graduated in volts or millivolts or kilo volts next what is the internal resistance of an ohm meter which can be estimated from so the internal resistance of a multimeter on a scale of 10 volts can be measured using half scale deflection okay next dual slope integration type instruments operate on the principle of remember the basic principle of this method is that the input signal is integrated over a fixed interval of time and then the same integrator is used to integrate the reference voltage with reverse slope hence you get the name dual slope integration so here voltage to time conversion is happening in this particular technique next what is the use of smith trigger in digital frequency meter so the main purpose of a smith trigger is to convert an analog signal into a digital signal in a pulse train form and it is also known as a to d circuit which basically acts as a comparator circuit so it converts the signal into a train of pulses now trigger pulses in a cathode ray oscilloscope are used to remember trigger pulses they make repetitive waveforms which appear static on the oscilloscope display by repeatedly displaying the same portion of the input signal these triggers respond to specific conditions in the incoming signal making it easy to detect for example a pulse that is narrower than it should be 
so trigger pulses are used to synchronize the input with the time pace generator next question the sine wave output of a function generator is fed to both horizontal x and y inputs of cro what will be the output b so i'll show you the reference document which i have prepared which you can purchase from the link provided for better understanding so if you observe here on the y axis i have one waveform and on the x axis i have another waveform and i am getting a straight line which is at at an angle of 45 degrees so if you see the question the sine wave input of a function generator is fed to both horizontal x and y inputs of a cro so in the cro you will be getting a straight line with a slope of 45 degrees try to remember this particular diagram because there is a good chance so that the question can be repeated so here voltage is applied to the y axis and voltage is applied to the x axis and you have a straight line on the screen at an angle of 45 degrees with this the questions related to this particular topic are completed thank you